Hello everyone, so in this video we're going to be using the Streamium theme and we're going to be using Vimeo to save our costs um, as an alternative to using AWS. So you can save your costs um, dramatically by using Vimeo. And here we're going to show you how you can integrate this with the Streamium theme. We've had quite a lot of people asking this, okay? So first off, once you've signed up to your Vimeo account, you will have your videos. So you can go to my videos and then you'll have a list of videos that you can upload here. So you can have them all listed in the back end. Okay, so if you go into one of your videos, okay, then what you want to do is you want to scroll down to distribution and go to video file links. Okay, now under HTTP live streaming, you want to copy this link. Okay, then you want to head back to S3 Bubble, create a player, put in the direct URL. Okay, so this is the URL that you've just copied from Vimeo. Submit. Okay, so you can see we've got our new video here that is playing through S3 Bubble. Okay, but we want to get this in the Streamium theme. Okay, so our video code is Q034. So let's go back to the theme, and what we're going to do is we're going to add a new video, and we'll just call this one Vimeo example using Vimeo instead uh, of AWS. Okay, so what we want to do now is we want to go to document and we want to go down to our main video we want to search for the video that we just added okay now we're going to put this one in our category so we're going to put it in British uh, let's just publish it directly now okay so it's been published great so let's go back and let's just go to our thumbnail so first of all let's just add a feature image uh, we can just reuse this one okay and let's click update now let's go and take a look at our website okay let's go back to the home page okay so you can see we've got our new Vimeo video here okay and it's got a description and our file and obviously we can do all the things like change the main thumbnail and sorry the main landscape image but we're good to go now so we've got our video streaming directly from Vimeo so that will save us some money and what we can also do now is if we scroll down and we can generate our Roku data okay and it will generate the Roku data for our feed then we can go to one two three or whatever our Vimeo um, duration in seconds is and click update and then that's also going to generate our Roku feed that you can get under appearance customizer and then if you go to your Roku feed, uh, where are we? I shall find it. Um, Roku Direct Publishing Feed. So once you've got your Roku feed here, then you can take your key, which you need to put your key on the end. A couple of people have missed this out. And you will then have your Roku feed generated as well. Okay. Now let's see if you've named it Roku. I think mine's named RMRS. Okay, restrictions enabled okay so yeah you just need to put the correct key that you've generated into here okay and then you've got your Roku feed okay so make sure you've got the correct key and that's if you have added restrictions but this just means that you're all set up with your Roku feed okay and everything's listed if your video isn't listed it means that you probably haven't added the correct image dimensions and that just means go ahead and add a tile image and under movies uh, edit if you scroll down to um, this one, set a Roku thumbnail, then you're going to want to add that. Okay. Okay, so we've got our Vimeo example, our Vimeo player, um, it's in our category, and we've got all our images, and we're all set up for Roku, and we're using Vimeo, and we're saving money by not using AWS. So I hope this helps people. Thanks.